Today, Jesuit Superior General Arturo Sosa visited Saint Marie among the Huron in Ontario, Canada. Jesuits came here in the early 17th century to minister to the indigenous Wendon people. The site was dormant for centuries until it was excavated and historically reconstructed. I really feel that this holy space where Jean Brebeuf and his companions lived with the First Nations people and stood as a model of offering themselves in love to God to serve them is an inspiration for us as Jesuits in Canada and indeed around the world. It's a very moving for me, a uh, moving that found uh, people who would really believe in their mission, uh, people who really gave their life, you know? maybe in torture, maybe in working. Uh, I was very moved also with the work of the brothers in the mission. Just a short walk down the road is San Ignace. It was here in 1649 that Jesuits Jean de Brebeuf and Gabriel Lamont suffered martyrdom. In 1977, Father Pedro Arupe, another superior general of the society, came to this place and knelt in prayer. When we celebrate the Eucharist, we do the memory of Jesus Christ. So, and now when we do the memory of this martyr, it's the same thing. No? We, we take some energy, we take a... Uh, yes, we thank God for these people, but also thank God for what we are doing now. The centerpiece of this sacred space and pilgrimage site is Martyr Shrine. Its distinctive canoe interior remembers the indigenous people. Father Sosa celebrated Mass here and later recalls Jean de Berbeuf's advice to his brother Jesuits. Whatever you have been before, you hear our child, our child. So you have to be taught by the others by the people who is from here. And that's an attitude of inculturation, but also is the first step to offer what you are. If you don't, if you go to the house of the other, you have to learn how that house functions. So that's the a very important message for us. Reconciliation means also interculturality.